Topic 1.2, dividing multiples of 10 and 100. So we pretty much know how to do mental math by multiplying by 10 and 100. What we're going to do today is to use mental math to divide by multiples of 10 and 100. Sometimes it's useful to divide multiples of 10 and 100 mentally. So like, let's just say you and four friends wanted to... Um, wanted about a thousand signatures for a petition and you were going to divide the number of signatures out amongst the four of you. An easy way to do this would be to maybe just think of it, well how many times does four go into a hundred? We know that's 25 times. So for a thousand that would be 250 signatures each for you to get. So let's say that uh, uh, 24,000 is a big number Lots of zeros there. 24,000 people in all attended the county fair. And the fair lasted three days. And about the same number of people went each day. How many people went to the fair each day? So what would that problem be? We would take the 24,000 and would divide that by three to figure out how many went for each day. We know that... 24 divided by 3, that equals 8. So if we did 24,000 divided by 3, that would be that 8 plus those three zeros on top of that. So each day, 8,000 people would have gone to the fair. Let's try a couple of these together. So let's say 2,200 divided by 2. Well, we know that 2 goes into 22 11 times. So, if we add those two zeros afterwards, we'd have 1,011. How about 7,200 7, divided by 8? Well, we know that 72 divided by 8 is 9, so we'd have that 9 there, and add the two zeros to get 900. How about 36,000 divided by 3? Well, we could say what? 3 divided into what? 36, and that would be how many? 12. So we would just add these three zeros and get 12,000. Let's do a word problem here. If a bike race covers 120 miles, there we go, 120 miles, over six days, and the cyclists ride about the same number each day, how many miles did each cyclist ride each day? So we have 120 miles over six days. We're going to divide that into six equal groups. So, well, we know that six goes into twelve two times, so that would be twenty miles a day. A day. Okay. And one last thing to get straight out. Let's go ahead and set this up. Alright. Let's just say this is a division problem. So, actually, let's just say this is the answer up here. Change colors. All right, so just so you know that this number right here, that is your divisor. And you take your divisor and you divide it into this number. That is your what? Dividend. And the answer to a division problem is the quotient. So you need to know these different sets of numbers here. Well, that was easy, huh? All right, so just a couple little test problems over here. Try those out. And I'll see you in the morning.